Aloha! Aloha! I'm uh, so glad to be with you today. It's Saturday and it is the month of December, which is really fantastic. In this video, I'm going to give you some great gift ideas and I'm also going to cover some luxury, luxury shoe repair. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Terry Edmonds and I am a shoe cobbler here in Maui. And I have the awesome opportunity to be able to do luxury shoe repair. So I do, I, in this video, we're gonna have Dior, Gucci. I mean, look at some of these great sassy shoes. <laughs> so we are here on Facebook Live. We are also on Amazon Live. And if you aren't familiar with my Amazon shopping cart, all of the supplies that you're gonna be seeing today are available on my Amazon shopping cart. So let's get the show going. If you want to know how to reach me the easiest, it's on my website, terryedmonds.com. And if you go to the front page of my uh, shopping cart, it takes you to the uh, list of items that are available. I have them organized for you guys, so it's easy to find. Um, and you just need to click through. And I know that sounds basic, but I've had people ask me exactly how do I find that product? So let's get going. All right, so my store is If The Shoe Fits and I am in Maui, Hawaii, which is so awesome. And uh, the weather's pretty good here today. All right, so let's get going. Great gift ideas. I know it's hard to find stuff for certain people, but on Facebook especially, some of you guys are my customers. And so I know that there are some shoe fanatics out there and the, here are some gift ideas for that person that you didn't think you can come up with something. All right, starting with, the shoe stapler. Who doesn't need a darling little shoe stapler? I actually have this. I've ordered both the uh, red and the black. I have them available on the shopping cart. Um, they're actually really nice. It's a swing line. Um, I have this under the office supplies. You can also get the staplers to go with it. So this is a great little stocking stuffer. It works super well. Swing line is a really great quality product. So. Um, Anyway, love that. That's a cute one. Another one that's really fun, let's go to it, is <laughs> the shoe phone. And don't anybody buy this for me because I already have all this stuff. <laughs> it is wall plugged. So for those of you that actually have a landline, it's a really great little phone. It does take in two channels on it so you can click through. It's got the ringer on and off. I actually really love it. I like having a landline because I like having access in case we ever have a hurricane or something. At least I've got a landline, but it's super cute. It's got a pretty decent little cord to it, um, but I really love it. So, hello. <laughs> I think it's really darling. Uh, you cannot get these cordless. I've searched around, but anyway, super cute. All right, that is available. It was uh, offered uh, for $27.79. A pretty decent little price. I came well packaged and um, what good quality. All right, so let's go to the next one. All right, my very, very most famous <laughs> item that I sell on Amazon are my shoe stretchers. And I personally believe that that's because people have very wide feet and the shoe industry is just not caught up to that yet. So this is a great little gift. Look at these cute little shoe stretchers. Even though I have a professional shoe sh uh, repair shop, I actually like these. I think they're really nice. I always advocate for wood, but I've tried these a lot and they hold up really well, even though they are plastic on the outside. They've got this really nice metal handle, way better than getting something with the plastic handle. And these are great for high heels. And um, for instance, any kind of a high heel. This is really nice, look at that. We're gonna look at some of these cute shoes today, OMG. All right, so look at that, super easy. Gets right in there. I hope you guys will send me a message and say hi, tell me from where you're watching. Uh, Mom, hi, I love you. All right, so look at that. And this actually, most of the shoe stretchers are um, they have sizes on them. When you go to the Amazon shopping cart, it's gonna say they go from zero to four zeros and one and two. And so you really wanna research that when you're looking up uh, your shoe stretchers. But this one's just a basic size. It fits most of the ladies' high heels. 
So look at that, it's got a nice shape to it. This will give me a great stretch. I don't need to stretch hers. I actually did a different shoe repair on it. So there we go, a great stocking stuffer. And one of the other key things is that you wanna get a stretcher, excuse me. Uh, the stretchers usually come one in a package, but this one, it comes with the pair. So I really, really like that, right? That way you can do both of them at once. If you are gonna order the wood shoe stretchers, be sure that you order two. If you do a lot of shoe stretching, you're gonna want that. All right, so great gift ideas. Now, I'm gonna talk to you about some luxury shoe repair. If you have invested, um, and I have custom, a lot of VIPs that have some great shoes, and you don't have access to a cobbler, um, I know I get a lot of uh, emails about that, that they don't have one in their hometown. There are items you can buy and you can do this yourself. It's super, well, it's pretty easy if you just take the time. I have a lot of shoe repair videos on my YouTube channel. Um, shoe polishing, shoe gluing, shoe stretching. Uh, shoe stretching is my biggest video. So if you have a question and you are maybe on Maui, uh, I know we get a lot of big feet out here. So uh, take a look at my shoe stretching videos. All right, so the very first thing that you can do, uh, you know, hold on, this is bugging me. I'm gonna fix my little camera here. There we go. Okay, so first one is shoe polishing. It's such a basic thing, but it really, really <laughs> restores your shoes. And for instance, um, just some real basic things, like this one happens to be a fabric shoe, right? You probably wouldn't think that you'd polish it but um, the heels on them are wrapped in leather. Actually, most of these shoes are, all the heels are wrapped in leather. It's plastic inside, but a leather on the outside. And I went ahead and did one here. I'm just gonna give you a little close up, see if you can see that. This one I finished. This one I did not. And see, this one has some marks on the back, right? It could use a little sprucing up. The sole is leather, so this could take a little bit of shoe polish. And um, I usually, let's see if I brought that. Um, I'm showing you in the picture the Money's Worth Best. This is probably the top of the line uh, cream shoe polish. It has, it's like a moisturizer for the face, but it's got a little bit of color. So it's a moisture with color. And you can buff it to a shine, okay? I did that, let's see, I actually didn't use any cream polish on what you're gonna see today, but it is typically the number one step that I do in shoe polishing, okay? But what I did use was the Lincoln Stain Wax, and we are so lucky that Amazon actually sells the Lincoln Stain Wax. If you are on Maui, I have all of these products available to you retail. And I, like I said, I've got those videos. You can do it yourself if you don't have time to make an appointment with me for shoe repair. Um, you can do some, some on your own. So for the polish, let's get to it. All right, the black. It's super easy. It comes with a little, uh, you just press to open, okay? And it's a nice stain wax. I'm really glad Lincoln is still in business. They're not making dyes anymore, but they are still doing their polishes. So for here, um, it's really, I'm gonna just show you, it's so easy. I, this is a, a special client to me, so I just went ahead and did this for her complimentary, and I am gonna touch up the areas around the front, just right around there, okay? And then we would use our buffing brush, and that is actually next in the list. And I've had for the holidays, believe it or not, I've had a lot of people buying gift packages um, for whomever, but they include, you know, the whole set. Get the cream polish, get the wax polish, and buy both of the brushes. You know, I like the combination set. You can do a brown and you can do a black. This brush set has, it offers the brushes for both. So if you do have nice shoes and you do take care of them yourself, you know, or or maybe your loved one has and their stuff is out, take a little peek in their shoe repair supplies and you know, see if they need a little upgrade. You know, maybe you can, if they even have the brown and the black, maybe you get them a dark brown. You can, it's, it is art. You can layer colors and achieve different tones in the shoe. 
Uh, so let's stay on this for a second because what I did do was, for instance, here is, look at this Gucci. Hello, I love it. It has this fantastic heel on the back. And because I'm doing a topi half sole, that's what that's called. It's called a topi half sole, non-skid, plus it saves the sole of the shoe. And I wanted to spruce it up, so I put a little bit of wax. This is a leather on the back, so I put a little bit of wax on that. And then I also waxed the toe. And believe it or not, you know, little subtle differences like this, you can fall in love with your shoes again, or even more. <laughs> So, and it's so easy, look at that. Just give a little buff on it. So I have to show you this Gucci because they did this amazing back on it. Let's see if you can see that right there. This is leather, it's a thick leather. It must be a three or four ounce leather design that they came up with. Then of course they put the regular Gucci fabric, right? And then the standard, um, whatever you call it, anyway. but. What I think is so amazing is they used it on this one as well. When I first saw this, I was like, how did they do that? How do they get the structure? If you've ever tried to make a shoe or really looked at your shoes, and I'm sure there are some ladies out there. I know some of my customers that are shoe queens um, have looked at that detailing. So I just thought this was so yummy. My client's coming to pick this up today. And uh, anyway, I just noticed the same back on it. I thought I'd show you guys something fun. I mean, trying to do this kind of detail, trying to do these thin little uh, patent leather straps and making the shoe look perfect for that discerning client. I mean, I am super impressed and I can see why they charge so much for them. If I made them myself, I would charge way more. <laughs> it's a lot of work. So anyway, those are gorgeous. One of the other things, so I used polish, um, you know, uh, I would say, well, we're still, well, let's move into the uh, paints because that one's the, really kind of an important one. Um, I did skip this. Let's talk about this really quick. This is another great little stocking stuffer and they are called foot pedals. They've been around for a few years now, um, but you can get them in a full length, black, beige, and I think they do a gray in it. Yeah, black, beige, and gray. They also do um, some, just these are called the tiptoes, so it goes under the ball of the foot and it keeps you from slipping through the shoe. It makes it a little more comfortable, but typically I recommend these for clients who, let's say, uh, okay, this is a really good example. All right, great little shoe, look at this Gucci, I love it. I put on a half sole, I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, but I would take a black one and it goes right underneath the ball of the foot, okay? And this would be great, let's say the shoe's a little loose for this gal. Uh, most people just immediately go to the heel thinking that they need to put one of those heel pads on the back, but that really just kind of pushes you forward in the shoe. It doesn't solve the problem about the shoe being too big. Um, so you put the foot pedal in there and let's just open one up. These are great. I use them as samples in my store when people come in and have trouble. Typically, I get the, the heel pump, like this would be a great example. It's a, it's a pump. It doesn't have a strap on it, so there's no way to adjust this shoe. And if this shoe were too big for someone, they would immediately go to this, I see it all the time, to the back pad. And I would say, no, let's try the front because, um, like I said, it keeps you from slipping forward which is what you want. And also if your shoes are hurting you around the front of the toe box, again, this pad, it has a self-adhesive on the back. They're really well made. They last a very long time. So I would take off the adhesive and I would slide it into the, you wanna measure right, you wanna put your foot in here with your heel to the back and you wanna kinda eyeball where your foot strikes. And that's where you want to put that pad so it holds you in place. So not only does it take up the extra room in the shoe, but it also, it, it makes the ball of the foot take the pressure rather than the sides of your toes. I actually can tell on this shoe that this client has, it's too tight for her right here. That's what's happening. She's coming forward in the shoe and it's pressing on her outside of her little toe there. And it's also pressing on her bunion. 
So really a great idea, you know, especially if you're a working gal, you're on your feet all day and you still choose to wear a heel, uh, the foot pedals are awesome. I'm really glad they came up with them. And like I said, they also came out with the full length one. I don't usually recommend it because you don't need to be lifted out of the back of the shoe. I would recommend something like this for a shoe that has a strap on it and that gives you some room to move up. But it would not be so great for a shoe like that because it would kind of lift you out of the shoe and it can be very irritating. So then we also have the foot pedals made the uh, heel grip. So I'm going to show you this as well. And mine happens to be the JT foot, but I like foot pedals and I just found it this morning that they're making it. So I thought I'd just put that link for you because foot pedals does awesome. But this is what it looks like. Okay. And a lot of you have seen these already, uh, but they don't know how to install them. So this is what you do. You take them off. I'm actually not going to uh, take them off because this client doesn't need it, but you would take off the self-adhesive strips on the back here and then you bend it like that. Then you stick it into the back of the shoe where you think looks good. And I like to do it just below the lip of this, of the top seam. So then you would just stick it in there and voila, you'd be done. It does help if you have a problem with uh, getting blisters on the back of your feet or what have you, they're great. But again, I always say try the foot pedal first. That's my favorite way to go. And foot pedals make so many different colors. You can get bridal ones that say Mr. and Mrs. You can get one that says I do, which I will probably have when I get married this summer. I can't wait. But they also have really great colors. They've got the pink, they've got beige, they do, um, they have the black and then they also make the gel. So the gel is just a clear one. All right, let's keep going here. So something else, I have this uh, great shoe here and this was also a Gucci and she, this was the before. <laughs> so she's worn through here, she's worn through here. It's pretty trashed. I had put a sole on this prior to, uh, you know, probably a few years ago, but it is all leather. So I tore out what was remaining in this sole and I put a new insole. And this is a, a nice leather piece, all right? And it was pretty easy. Uh, I show this in the Amazon shopping cart because it is a lambskin. And if you decide to do this project on your own, you can buy them in any color. And the lambskin is nice because it's really thin. It's, they have so many different colors. And typically, so in the one I'm using, it's a little bit thicker leather, and I usually skive the edges so that they blend really paper thin around the edges. I didn't do that for hers because she has, she wears so hard on this, and I didn't wanna put a foam filler on it. So I left the edge, you know, a little thicker for her, but I know in time she's actually gonna appreciate that. I did end up cutting out the original Gucci on her insole because I'm sure she wants that, right? I get requested that, so and that's pretty fun. The only thing I haven't done yet on this was to clean the upper straps with using my Lincoln suede cleaner that you guys know I love. I always talk about it. It's great for removing mold, salt marks, all kinds of stuff. All right, so that's a super fun little Gucci. And here's the uh, sole I did for her years ago. I am about to put a new heel cap on it. Um, so what I do want to, let's also talk. All right, so let's go to the paints because paints are super, super helpful. I'm gonna give you a good example. Let's start walking through the shoes. This one here, actually let's do this one. Yeah, okay. So this one, I put a new half sole on it. I wanna get to that, let me show you that. Ah, uh, darn it. Hold on, let's go back. This, I wanna talk about this right here. This is a non-slip material. And this you can buy on Amazon, which is really great. And they come in, in sizes. This one I liked because it has a nice wide surface on it. The benefit to going to a professional is that we can make them to go from end to end. So you don't get anywhere. These gorgeous, luxurious shoes that I, you are seeing here all have really, really thin soles and they won't last very long. So they can be repaired, but why? When you can just go to a pro or pick up some in your own 
home, have them delivered and just, uh, they have a self-adhesive on the back, glue them right to the bottom and it actually does give you a barrier to the surface of the leather. So this one, I like to try to match the shoe. This has a black sole originally and I went ahead and put a black sole on it but when I sand it, I want to sand it nice and flush, right? And make it look perfect. But it also takes down that first layer of paint on the original sole. And it looks kind of a beigey color. It's a, a light color. So I go in with my lovely paint brushes that I absolutely love, right? We talk about them all the time. Okay, these are great. They come with the whole set. They're super nice. They clean up really easily. I actually use them for dyes. I, I even use them for some of the polishes because if I want to get into a shoe like this one that has a really thin little leather trim on it, I don't want to get polish on the fabric. So I'll just dedicate a paintbrush to my little polish collection and, uh, and do it delicately, right? So it's super handy. Well, I went in here with my fabulous Angelus paint. I think I have almost the whole collection in my own private uh, studio here. And um, I went ahead and just hand painted that. So it just blends in. We don't want it to show when she's wearing it, okay? I also will do this on here. This is a really fun example. The bottom of the shoe is beige. So I wanted to continue that beige color. So if they're have their legs crossed, you know, it's a continuous color. However, the side view, you wanna make sure that it's, you know, you don't wanna see that beige on the side. The Gucci actually did a black trim on this, right? The original was a black trim. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna hand paint that side so that you don't notice it from the side angle. And I'll give you an example of that. I did that on, <laughs> Let's see here, where is it? Where did I put that? Uh, it's this one, here we go. All right, this is beige bottom. I put a beige non-slip on it, and then I painted the side so that you can't tell that there is a beige non-slip on that. Isn't that lovely? Look at that cute little Gucci, oh my God. <laughs> and it even comes with these little keys and there's a lock on the front of this Gucci. <laughs> I am pretty impressed with Gucci. I have to say the quality, the um, creativity in the Gucci is just, I'm becoming a big fan. All right, so another example. Here is a gorgeous Valentino. Look at that nice little flat. And um, I did, she had kind of a metallic, bronzy metallic color on the bottom. And so I did the brown. It still has to be sanded, but I'm going to, once I sand it, it's gonna have this little white trim on there and I don't want that to show. So I'll go back in with the dark brown paint and paint that trim up. All right, and I wanna keep going. I Let's touch on this and then we'll do a final walkthrough of all these cute shoes. All right, some of the other things you might not know about, it is Christmas time, right? And Amazon has this program called Amazon Explore and it is, the world at your fingertips, just like they say. You basically, let's see if I think I have this planned right. I'm gonna walk this, show you how this walks through. You can Google Amazon Explorer. It takes you to their main page. And if you scroll down, it gives you options. Do you wanna do learning and creativity, wellness and beauty? What, what country are you interested in? Do you wanna check out Maui? <laughs> you know, do you wanna go to Canada, Paris? Anyway, um, let's see here. Yeah, so it offers you, um, you can get the local perspective, shop. Uh, you can actually have, oh darn, yeah, that's a good thing we did this now. So, um, you, um, for instance, there's a gal, I looked up Paris, right? And there's a gal that makes jewelry and she will actually take you on a guided tour through Paris in a shopping district. And you can book the time, just like a hair appointment, you schedule it, how long you wanna be, do you wanna do it by yourself or do you wanna do it with a group? Do you have family with you? And you can actually, it's a guided shopping tour. For instance, if I were doing it, which I might be soon, I could, we could have an, a one-on-one -on -one engagement and say, okay, you wanna clean your shoe? Great, here, do you want this product? Does this work for you? Do you wanna add in some, some shoe polish? 
but there are also things you can take classes. You can have somebody walk you past the Notre Dame and you can say, stop, I wanna take a picture and they'll click a picture for you. I mean, it is super, super cool. So that's called Amazon Explore and you can do it as a gift. So I don't know, a lot of people are aware of that. The other thing that we're gonna talk about is Prime Wardrobe. Uh, shopping online, right? A lot of people are shopping online these days and so Prime Wardrobe offers you the opportunity to ship in up to $300 worth of items, try them on. If you don't like them, you can send them back as long as you do this certain window. I think it's like seven days that you have. And you do have to have a credit card to make that work. But anyway, I really like that, especially because it's so difficult to find the right stuff, try them on. Uh, and they make shipping back and return super easy, right to the UPS store, drop off, boom, it's so easy. All right. One last thing, um, these, I don't know if you can see these cute little lights in the back here. I'm doing a video for, called Famous People and it's gonna be a nighttime theme in here and it's gonna have these great lights. Well, this is the light set that I bought and it came with a ton of them. And so I put the link on there for you because it is the holiday. And I've seen some really great for people who are YouTubing or Zooming from home. It's really great to have a little backdrop lighting. So I put that in there for you. All right, one last thing is I am gonna be uh, putting out a video about me being on YouTube, the uh, United States of YouTube, which is freaking awesome. It's me, Jake Shimabukuru, and another gal from Oahu. And I'm really excited to be a part of that. And it's, uh, it's actually the United States of YouTube forward slash something, I don't know. You'll have to wait for me to put the video out. It'll take you right there. All right, let's take another fun tour really quick of all these great shoes. All right, well, first off, I don't just repair shoes, I repair bags. But look at this Gucci bag. I actually wanna make my own handbags that are painted. And I saw this, I was like, yeah, that's super cool. I love the way they did that. I'm repairing the handles because she's worn it so long that they're breaking here. So I'll do a nice little modification for her. So isn't that fun? Uh, very well made, a simple bag. Um, she could probably stand to clean it. Um, so that that's what that easy suede cleaner is really awesome for cleaning stuff like that Then check out these Dior's. Oh my gosh This is one of my VIP clients and look at this. I mean she hasn't worn them yet Which is smart because look at how thin those little uh, soles are on that But I love the color. I love that seafoam green in there I like the platform. I, I couldn't wear something like that. I have to, I have a real life. <laughs> All right, and then we have, I am putting heel caps on these. I'm actually also going to be doing a new half sole on these little Louis Vuittons. Aren't those cute, a little slide. And I can also do things like change out the heels into a wedge. This can become a wedge. All right, we saw that Gucci. We saw this gorgeous Gucci. This is pretty elegant. In this one, I would probably use a paint. White and cream colors, polish just doesn't, a white or cream polish doesn't work. You've got to paint them. And I'm not doing this gratuitously for her because this is a custom mix and I would probably charge 40 to $60 just to get the right color. But those Angelus paints work on leather. The paint is meant to be flexible and to work on something like that. And this really could use it. It's pretty gorgeous. I'll give you a little close up there. Isn't that fun? And again, the half sole. All right, then we saw that one. Let's take a look here. This is another Gucci, same client. And here I did the Topi half sole on that. Again, you could do that a non-slip pad would be just fine. They make them nice and wide on there. I gave her a new heel cap. And for the heel, I would actually polish that. I would do a nice, I, I like to use dark brown. This is the uh, Lincoln Stain Wax, and it really puts a shine. It just spruces them all up. So if you've got a nice collection at home, buy a little can and go through your wardrobe. You know, they've got that new Sex and the City series coming out and you know, the whole shoe rave. So uh, take care of your shoes. All right, now this one is so darling. Oh my gosh, really? I mean, they put a fine suede on here. This is so, this is a real suede. They've lined it with suede on the inside. And again, this has not been worn yet. I just did a heel cap for her and that's all she wanted, but she hasn't even worn them yet. So, all right, then this one, oh my gosh. 
<clears throat> I have a lot of Louis Vuitton fans out here in Maui, but look at that. Isn't that a beautiful, beautiful little emblem on there? I mean, just gorgeous. Patent leather. Patent leather is really challenging to work with. So the fact that they can make this so beautiful and have it curve just the right way. I mean, they even have patent leather on this whole insole. Um, amazing. And there's just no wrinkles in it. Pretty fascinating. I know they have great equipment, but still, it's, it's an art. Then we have, this is a vintage Dior. Isn't that kind of fun? It's real delicate. This one has a little charm on the back. And for her, I did heel caps for her. She doesn't usually do the half soles, but that's fine. It's so pretty, I like that. <clears throat> this one is, I've seen these before. I've done quite a few of this style, but I think they're really pretty. This is such a classic, classic style. I, I would wear something like that. It just makes the leg look nice. And uh, I didn't have to polish it. it this is, it has a glossy heel on it, but um, you know, if it were me, I would do a, a half sole on here to protect it. <clears throat> then we have this gorgeous Chanel. I love Chanel, if everybody doesn't know that already. I love it. And we are doing a half sole and heel on here. And <clears throat> I think I stretched it for her a little bit, but isn't that kind of pretty? All right, one of my favorites. Like, this is the cream of the crop today, okay? This is so stunning. This is a brand new Chanel, okay? And um, right out of the box. I mean, she still has the gift wrapping on it. But this sole is unlike any sole I've ever seen. And I've been doing this for so many years. <laughs> I think. I mean, I've been in the shoe repair business alone since 2010, but this actually had a quilted, that's called quilting. This, this so iconic for Chanel is the quilting, quilted leather. And this was a quilted pattern and it was so hard. I had to sand it in order to make this stick. I was like, oh, oh my God, I can't believe I'm sanding this beautiful sole at how they got this leather stunning. It's just really such a fine piece of art and getting a plastic heel to be this super beautiful blonde. I mean, there's no way that, I don't believe there's any way that a cobbler, no matter how experienced we are, would be able to find a heel that would match. So she was super smart to have me put on this protective soling material. And you can do that too. If you buy that little pad, you can cut that pattern out and just trim it with a razor knife carefully. I wear gloves and I take my time so I don't hurt the shoe and I don't hurt myself. So anyway, I'm just gonna leave that as is and now it's gonna be completely wearable. But I mean, look at the buckle on that. They actually put a leather strap through that buckle, a working buckle. This is so detailed and so gorgeous and yumalicious. Yes, yumalicious. Then I have another cute little Chanel. This is all uh, velvet back here. And so I put a new heel cap on that. It's a very thin sole. I wish she would have asked me to do a half sole on that, um, but she didn't yet. And this is so classic Chanel fabric, right? I mean, really a, quite a beautiful shoe. I don't know what season from which this came, but quite lovely. All right, and then lastly, um, I don't have this sample of, I do a lot of Louis, there was a section of years that Louis Vuitton made plastic soles and it looks like this, okay? And over time, these tend to crack and crumble. And of course, nobody wants to lose their beautiful shoe, right? So I can remove that and put a new sole on it, which I do. She, this lady wanted a little thicker one. I would have typically do it a little thinner and I still have some finished detailing work to do on it, but now it's just a solid shoe. This happens to be a soft, but typically I do a lot of Louis Vuittons that way. So uh, there we go, super awesome. It was a great, great week. I totally love doing the luxury shoe repair. Thank you VIP clients for supporting my business here on Maui, you're so great. You can also send me your items, but it is by appointment only. So you can always reach out to me at terryedmonds.com if you are watching this on YouTube please subscribe. Uh, it's a thing. You can actually hit the little bell and it'll let you know when I have new videos coming out. So thank you so much. I love my job. I love living on Maui and I love all of you. Thank you so much. From Maui, aloha.